And I now give the floor to the representative of Lebanon. Thank you. Mr. President, congratulations on a successful presidency and on choosing this very timely and important subject as the theme of this open debate at a time when peace and its keepers are facing difficult challenges. Lebanon and the United Nations have been strategic partners on this question of peacekeeping for almost half a century through UNIFIL, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon. This interim period has lasted 40 years. The mandate of UNIFIL, as you know, is based on resolutions 425 and 426 of 1978 and on 1701, resolution 1701 of 2006. Today, UNIFIL has 10,500 troops drawn from 41 countries, making it one of the largest UN peacekeeping operations around the world. And the Lebanese government committed 15,000 troops in 2006 to deploy in the South for the first time in 30 years. Mr. President, you ask in your concept paper, what can host nations do to help peacekeepers? I will answer the question by talking about the strategic relationship between Lebanon and UNIFIL. But first, allow me, on behalf of Lebanon, to say we are very grateful to UNIFIL and to every single country, and many of them are represented on this table and in this room for their participation in this peacekeeping mission. UNIFIL has lost 312 soldiers since 1978, and to the families of these soldiers and to their countries, Lebanon will always be indebted and humbled by their sacrifice. The partnership between the LAF, Lebanese uh, Armed Forces, and UNIFIL has been consolidated and cemented since two 2006, sorry, when the Lebanese Army's 5th Brigade deployed in the South to extend the government's authority and ensure security and stability in the South. LAF and UNIFIL soldiers do routine patrols, work in close coordination on all issues related to security and stability in the area of operations. While the situation on the border is fragile, this partnership helped establish a new strategic envi environment in the South. And although not perfect, there is calm on the blue line. UNIFIL conducts land and maritime joint exercises with the LAF and contributes to mine clearing and mine awareness and education for local population. Mr. President, there are vital requirements for a host country to support and strengthen the peacekeeping force. Here are five of these requirements that the Lebanese government has been fulfilling. First, the Lebanese government, and since the adoption of Resolution 2373 last summer, started working on the establishment of a modern regiment to deploy in the south to further enhance the Lebanese government's security presence in the area. The Rome Conference was a concrete example of the commitment of the Lebanese government to strengthen its national military and security forces. This enables the government to exert control and assume responsibility of the security in the country and ease the, ease the burden from the peacekeepers. Second, the Lebanese government has shown a strong will, resolve, and unparalleled commitment to ensure that UNIFIL succeed in its mission. Third, Lebanese officials expressed their support to UNIFIL through Lebanese government repeated public statements to resolution and support to resolution 1701 and its full implementation. They do this through visits of high-level officials to UNIFIL's headquarters and area of operations. Fourth, communication and good relations with the local population is as important for the success of a peacekeeping operation, and Lebanon encourages this relationship. UNIFIL helps the local civilian population through many projects like the Quick Impact Projects, which address the most pressing needs of the population. Fifth, one of the most strategically vital roles of a peacekeeping force is prevention. Here, Lebanon and the UN, through the Tripartite Committee in South Lebanon, have been able to defuse tension, solve problems, de-escalate, and avoid com conflict almost on a daily basis. Mr. President, after 12 years of the adoption of Resolution 1701, we have not seen any sign of progress, neither on reaching a permanent ceasefire nor on solving the underlying political problems in the region, like Israeli withdrawal uh, from occupied Lebanese territory or halting its daily violations of Lebanese sovereignty by land, air, and sea. We in Lebanon are encouraged by the Secretary General's peace and security architecture reform and support his endeavors. But what's needed is a Security Council action that solves the political problems and tackles the root cause of issues. <coughs> Open-ended peacekeeping operations do not end conflicts. Implementing UN resolutions does. The Security Council has to shoulder its responsibility and end the gridlock that has characterized its work for the last few years. Peace building, prevention, and coalescing around the will of a Security Council that works for permanent solutions and not security band-aids 
is what will, be, will make peace, durable peace, a reality around the world, especially in the Middle East. Thank you very much. I thank the representative of Lebanon for her statement.